Hi, this is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Welcome back to Upgrading Your Skills to Windows Server 2016. In this demo, Managing and Optimizing Storage in Windows Server 2016. I'm going to be implementing and managing storage using FSRM. The first thing I'm going to be doing is creating a quota template. I'm going to add roles to this one. And I'm going to do is this, the file and storage roles. I'm going to open up the file in iSCSI. And I'm going to go to the FSRM, File Server Resource Manager. I'm going to go next, add features, next install. Now that it's completed installation, under tools, you can see the FSRM. And I'm going to do is go into quotas, I'm going to quote a template. And I'm going to do is this, I'm going to create a quota template on this. And this one right here on the template right, I'm going to say 500 megabyte limit. Mail to user. Log to event viewer. And the space limit right here, I'm going to say 500. Do not allow users to exceed limit. This is a hard quota. Notifications, I'm going to go add. So I'm going to send email to the following on this one right here. On the add threshold on this. I'm going to say 75% on this right here. You say OK. I'm going to send the email to the user who exceeded the threshold. I'm not going to send it to the admin, though I could send it to the admin if I wanted. But I'll send it to the user in this one. And then I'm going to say in this one right here. Now, if you take a look at this right here. Now, in the event log tag right here, I'm just going to say yes right now. I'm going to send warning to event log. I'm going to say OK. Yes. I'm going to say OK. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure a quota based on the quota template. I click on quotas, create a quota right here. I'm going to go auto apply template and create, temp and create quotas, a new and existing subfolders option. On this one right here, this was the one I created right here. Arrive it from that property quote on this one right here. Good. And say create on this one right there. And the next thing I want to do, I want to test that the quote is functional. Now to test the quota, I'm going to log in as Abby Skinner. I'm clicking on this PC. Notice the drive right here. It's only 500 meg. So the quota is actually working on this one right here, this quota. This one right here. Now the next thing I'm going to do 
is create a file screen. On London DC1, I'm going to click at File Screening Management. Take a look at File Screening. I'm going to create file screens on this. I'm going to derive properties from here. And I'm going to do is this. I'm going to block audio in this. Go in and block audio on this. I'm going to click on create. Next thing I'm going to do is and create a file group. I'm going to go on this local. I'm going to configure options on this. I'm going to go over here to the file screen audit tab. I'm going to record file screening activity and auditing database. Say OK. And now I'll click on File Groups. I'm going to create a file group. I'm going to call this one a Datum Media Files Group. Now the files to include star.mp asterisk. I'm going to add. Exclude star.mpp and this one right here so in this one so in other words um for this file group that one but mpp that one i'm not gonna um, exclude that one what i mean by that one is i'm not going to use that as part of the file screening i will exclude it from the file screening is what i mean say okay Now this is only a sample of digital media, media extensions to be added. To limit all digital media, I have to add more extensions to the file group, of course. Now I'm going to click on the file screen templates on this one right here. I'm going to right click this one, block on this one. I'm going to edit template properties. On this one right here, I'm going to do is this. I'm going to Uncheck this, and I'm going to use the special file group on this one right here. Okay. And I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say okay. Of course, the next thing I want to do now is the test the file screen. I'm going to go back to DC1 right there. I'm going to click on Storage Report Management. I'm going to go ge Generate Ports Now. And the kind of report I'm going to do is I'm going to say File Screen Audit Checkbox. Now under this one right here, Scope. I'm going to add a scope to this right here. And So in this report is included on this right here. I say OK. I'm going to say wait for it to be generated and then display it. Or you could generate in the background. This one right here. Let's take a look at this HTML document. As you can see, this report right here, so this file right here was blocked. And it explains right here. So 
I've successfully configured FSRM quota and file screening and generated a report. This concludes this video on FSRM. I'm David Papkin. Thank you for watching. See you soon.